gotta take a breather! Well, get ready for this, Link. <sighs> I'm Rhett. And I'm Link. Today we're here with BuzzFeed. To read your thirst tweets. I never, ever look at tweets that are about me. What about you, Link? How would one find a thirst tweet? Apple F, Link, thirst. Your name is not great for Apple F. Because link means a lot of different things. I know, I, f I find people thirsty for links all the time. Uh-huh. <laughs> Rhett and Link have uncontested riz. Ha! Ah, that's rizma. Short Some people call it charisma. Yeah. Would you say that you are a rizzler? Uh, no. Hmm. No. The Rhett and Link goofy comedy duo to sex symbol pipeline? Question mark, question mark, oh. question mark, question mark. Hmm. Okay, so somebody's excited that we are making a transition. Should we be insulted that we were once goofy, or should we feel great that we are now a sex symbol? Pipeline? Sex Looks symbol like... pipeline. Like we're now part of the gushing internet of sexiness? I think it's happened many times in history. Can you think of any other examples? Goofy comedy duo becomes a sex symbol? Uh... Abbott and Costello. <laughs> it's funny that I was thinking it's Tom and Jerry. Why are we both aging ourselves well, even older than we actually are? Well, at least mine is a real duo. Yours is cartoons. Well, that cat got pretty sexy. Oh, come on. <laughs> Rutten Link from GMM, smash and smash. That means do it. <laughs> or is that the past tense of having bought Smosh? Oh yeah, yep, that's what yeah, it was. Yeah, I don't think this is a thirst tweet. I think this is a business tweet. Smash and smash, they bought Smosh. Then we sold it back to them so that they could smush. We as a society need to openly thirst for Rhett and Link more than we currently do. Is this somebody running for office? I don't know if you can be talked in to openly thirsting for someone. I don't think that can be a political platform. You know what I'm saying? People see somebody and they either thirst or they don't. You can't be like, I encourage you to thirst for that person. That's not how thirst works, is it? Well, let me try it. I encourage you to continue to thirst for me. Did that work? We'll find out. Bitches Oop. with daddy issues love Rhett and Link. Can you explain it to me? Um, women with unresolved emotional baggage uh -huh. in respect to their father love Rhett and Link. Because we are their internet dads. I think it means we're a little bit old is one of the things. Yeah, I think it means that we're old. Nothing to see here, just crying over Link Neal's blue eyes again. Okay, now, <laughs> now it's getting personal. This is just me. Uh, take a break, yeah. buddy. Okay, all right. Okay, we'll just use my shot for this one. Thank you. I had a spicy dream about Rhett from Rhett and Link last night and woof woof bark. I would say it more like <laughs> I don't want to hear that from you. How spicy was it? Bark back, baby. Oof. There you go. Okay. Link Neal and that tattoo are a lethal combo. My lord, my god. And then what is that symbol? That's an extremely hot emoji. <sighs> yeah. I, I won't show you the whole thing because I don't want you to have to run out and I don't know. I don't want you to curse anymore. Get some water. What's in your lunchbox? Rhett and Link, you're so hot. I love you, Rhett. Take your shirt off. <laughs> this is from some meme. You know about memes? I, about as much as I've heard about lunchboxes. <laughs> but I guess the next video you could be shirtless. I'm not comfortable taking my shirt off in this setting. I mean, I was, there is a button that's not buttoned. I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable with beginning to take it off and then stopping and then keeping it there for a long period of time. Sometimes I'll miss a button. People will comment, oh my God, is he taking his shirt off? Nobody takes off their shirt starting with the middle button. But if somebody did, who would it be? You. Rhett McLaughlin just exudes sex in every photo taken after 2019. I'm so glad you had to read that. <laughs> why did I, Can you say why did I read that one? Can you say the first part again? Rhett McLaughlin just exudes. No, hold on. I read it wrong. Rhett McLaughlin excludes sex. <laughs> Losing it. Rhett and Link are becoming Rhett and Kink. <laughs> I'm becoming a kink. You're getting kinky. I mean, how are you supposed to water your garden without kinking your hose first? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that way, you put a little kink in your hose and it builds up the pressure. When you unkink it, boy, that thing just waters the garden. You may have just ruined it for this person. <laughs> I really can't believe we're living in a world where Rep McLaughlin is growing out his beard and hair and looking beautiful as ever. We are so lucky. I grew out my beard because you would not be tweeting anything close to this if I didn't have it. If you see Rhett without a beard, that's when he's exuding next. <laughs> yeah. Why do Rhett and Link have to be so hot? JFC. It makes watching their videos 10x harder. JFC. 
It's for... using the Lord's name in vain, but really, really bad. Oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, yeah. Leave Jesus out of our compliments. That's a lot of competition. Especially when, since 2019, I've sort of looked like Jesus. <laughs> At least the Mormon one. When I was like still a closeted bi dude, I wanted to f the one guy with the beard from Rhett and Link. Actually, I wanted to f both Rhett and Link. And I assumed they were married for years. <laughs> well, we are married. Yeah, but not to each other. To our wives. I love the story on this one though. Bi means that he wants to f both of us at the same time. Well, it started with just wanting to f me. And then I think it became, well, why not? The other guy too. You came along for the ride on this one, literally. <laughs> if no one gives me attention, I swear to God, I will turn this account into a Rutten Link horny posting account. <laughs> oh God. So that the only people who see it are us because they're adding us. And would that bring more or less attention? Some of these I just don't know how to feel about. Rhett and Link are still so damn fine. Ain't a day goes by that I'm not still the white man's whore for those two. What? Um. <laughs> Come on now. Okay, that's what? A, this is a little excessive. I'm glad my lawyer's here. <laughs> I'm a slut for Rhett and Link. Okay. You know what slut stands for? Some losers unintentionally. Sounds like you're making this up on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> what would make, what would make you say I that? I mean, just to, Because I didn't tell you what T stood for? It's just because we, they you stopped on T. Well, I thought you were gonna I mean, some it. losers unexpectedly, I was with you until that. Sexy lingerie underwear t t t today. Today? There you go. Sometimes Link unexpectedly talks. <laughs> <laughs> I've unexpectedly tooted soup. Oh God. Je legs. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why is slut spelled with a Hold T? Hold on, you felt good about soup legs? I think that's your problem. <laughs> the, t the, t the T is not you your problem. You never soup heard, legs you never is heard your of soup problem. Legs? Oh, I got it. Slowly lick under taint. Oh God. <laughs> My insatiable urge to violently make out with both Rent and Link is actually quite concerning. Oh, I'm not concerned. I think there should be at least a day to separate those two things. What I'm saying is I don't want to taste you. My insatiable urge to not listen to you. Yeah, I, I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> <laughs> if Rhett and Link told me to lick the floor of Main Street USA and Walt Disney World just so they would like my tweet, I would do it in a heartbeat. These men have a chokehold on me and I will die on this hill. Main Street USA and Walt Disney World is clean pretty regularly. It tastes like popcorn juice. I just want to say for the record and for legal purposes that I do not have anyone in a chokehold. Rhett and Link are doing an episode called Will It Kiss? And they make out real hard and I am horny about it. Is this well, a thought? <laughs> it's, a, it's a pitch. This is one of our writers. <laughs> <laughs> one day we might kiss, but I will promise you that it will be heavily monetized. Yes. We'll have to be a lot more desperate than we are yeah. right now. And not just ads. I'm not talking just like pre-rolls. Yeah, we are saying that you will be paying for it out of your own wallet. Please stop showing me Rhett and Link thirst edits. I'm gonna Oh God. Uh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Can you choke <clears throat> me a little bit? You're gonna where? So this is Twitter showing this tweeter thirst edits. So that algorithm over there is still working in our favor. Yeah. Would y'all take Rhett and Link to the Eiffel Tower or not? Be honest. Now, I didn't know what this was until we did it in episode, episode one of Wonder Hole, which by the way, please watch Wonder Hole our new series on our Rhett and Link YouTube channel. It's a labor of love, and yes. We did Eiffel Tower. We Eiffel Towered a bush. A bush. I didn't know I was doing a thing when we were doing it. So you didn't know I was on one side of the bush, and you were on the other side of the bush, right, you and were I just asked like, you to hey. hold your hands up. I was like, oh, this will make it easier. You thought I was holding you up? I thought it, I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. It'll make it easier for us to um, copulate with this bush. You need to watch more porn. Well, you need to kiss my ass. <laughs> Listening to Rhett and Link talk about making their wives <laughs> effervescent. Have we done that? Uh, well, one time I got Jesse to drink a lot of LaCroix right before, just, no, to, no. See, just to see what would happen. Uh, I'm a little uncomfortable, but also kind of kind of proud and, and a lot happy. I guess effervescent is like a, now is an expression of being pleased with something. Uh-huh. This is from user PP Hot Dog. Every October, or is it September? It's September, that's why we call it Sextember. Oh yeah, every year we have- If uh, I wasn't we, here, we get you'd, real sexy you'd, you'd talk. be in trouble. We get real sexy talk on our podcast. Just beat my to Rhett and Link, call that mythical. Oh, I like this one because of the branding. It was a report. It was a report. Let me try again. Just beat my to Rhett and Link, call that 
mythical. I really like that because it's using a little bit of a double meaning on mythical, you know, because that's the name of our company. Did you know that? Yep, yep, yep. Quote, younger Rhett and Link, hard eyes, hard eyes, hard eyes, end quote. So you don't want that sloppy daddy and silver fox eating capabilities or what? Huh? Silver fox. That's me. I think I'm sloppy daddy. I agree with that. You know, we're, we are much more experienced now because because we're older mm -hmm. than we were. That's all I got to say about that. I'm at my sexual peak, I'll add that. 48 is the sexual peak for an American man. <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, man. <laughs> we're not 48. We're, we're two years shy of our sexual peak. So, is what you're saying is that your eating capabilities are only gonna improve from here? Yeah. <laughs> and my it's only gonna get sloppier? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, well, we, we've got a lot to look <laughs> forward to. Ooh, we gotta take a breather! Well, get ready for this, oh. Link. I appreciate how much free foot fetish content Rhett and Link make. Male foot fetish content can be hard to come by. Do we show yeah, our feet? Yeah, we show our feet quite a bit, I would say. You know, sometimes we have to take our shoes off to do things on our show. We're not trying to make anybody pleased in that way in particular. I mean, I was showing my, my feet at the airport. You wouldn't shut up giving me about it. Because you're at the airport. Everybody knows. Closed toe shoes at the airport, man. Yeah, airport peeps need to see a little toe, too. You don't know what, excuse the cart. You used to know that person? Excuse boop, the boop. cart. Yep. You yep. don't want the cart to go on your feet. Why is it that nobody hears that person? Oh, I do. I dream about that person. Boop. Sometimes boop. when I wake up cart. in the middle of the night, excuse the cart. Glad I got my shoes on in bed. That's all that uh, they're forcing us to read. Send us the other ones. Yeah, let us you read the ones that you rejected, because I've been having quite a good time. <laughs> I'm flattered, and he's flabbergasted. Speaking of thirsty, feel free to go down Rhett and Link's Wonder Hole. It's a show that we do. It's not really even a you know a euphemism for anything. It's just a hole full of wonder. Or is it? Uh, you be the judge. But we invite you to come into it, regardless how thirsty you are. It's really fun. Thanks, BuzzFeed, for making up all those tweets. Mm-hmm. Really appreciate it.